perched on Peru's coastline, a game-changing megaproject is quietly reshaping the landscape of global trade. What once was a humble seaside town is now at the heart of a high-stakes transformation that promises to connect continents, redefine shipping routes, and elevate Peru's role in the global economy. With billions of dollars in investment and cutting-edge engineering, this project is more than just a port. It's part of a grander vision to create a seamless connection between South America's resources and Asia's insatiable markets. But it's not without its challenges. Environmental concerns, geopolitical tensions, and the interests of local communities weave a complex tapestry around this mega-project, sparking debates that extend far beyond Peru's borders. At the same time, it holds the potential to transform regional economies, reduce shipping times, and cement new trade alliances. Join us today as we delve into Peru's new billion-dollar megaport. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. The Chiangkai Megaport is a monumental infrastructure project located approximately 60 kilometers north of Lima, the capital of Peru. Chiangkai is a small fishing town with a population of around 60,000. It is a natural deep water port. However, previous feasibility studies on building up infrastructure pointed out heavy construction costs. With an investment of $3.6 billion, the port was developed through a collaboration between China's state-owned Costco Shipping Ports and Peru's Vulcan Mining Company. China began construction of the port in 2019, and Costco Shipping now owns 60% of the port, with the local company owning the rest. The first stage of the port was finished by the end of 2024, and the port was inaugurated on the 14th of November in a ceremony attended online by the Chinese and Peruvian presidents. Chiangkai Port is part of China's Strategic Belt and Road Initiative, and according to Peruvian law, it is considered a private port for public use, granting the operator exclusivity to provide port services. The Chiangkai Megaport's infrastructure is a testament to modern engineering and logistics innovation. The port boasts multiple berths capable of accommodating container ships, bulk carriers, and general cargo vessels. One of the most outstanding features of the Chiangkai port's multi-purpose port terminal is its capacity to receive vessels of up to 18,000 TEUs, the largest shipping vessels in the world. To date, no vessel of this size has ever arrived in Latin America. This capacity will position Chiangkai as a strategic port on a global scale. In the first expansion phase, around 1 million containers can be handled per year. The primary operational objective for the port's construction is to facilitate up to 6 million containers annually. The port's advanced storage facilities include refrigerated warehouses and automated systems to ensure the efficient handling of perishable goods. One of the most notable features of the port is its underground tunnel which links the port to the Pan-American Highway. This tunnel not only streamlines cargo movement, but also minimizes the environmental impact on surrounding communities by reducing traffic congestion and pollution. Additionally, the port's integration with rail networks is planned to further enhance its connectivity, creating a seamless supply chain. The use of cutting-edge technology including digital monitoring systems and artificial intelligence for logistics management, sets the Chiangkai Megaport apart from traditional ports. These innovations are expected to optimize operations, reduce turnaround times, and improve overall efficiency, making the port a model for future infrastructure projects in the region. The Chiangkai Megaport represents a milestone in Latin American development fostering enhanced trade relations between South America and Asia. Currently, most of Peru's cargo to Asia and Oceania needs to transit through Central America or North America, and the throughput cannot meet the needs of foreign trade upgrades. In order to reach South America, bigger cargo ships first go to ports in the United States or Mexico, and their goods are offloaded onto smaller ships. Therefore, Chiangkai Port 
can be the solution to this problem. Located along the Pacific coast, the port offers a direct maritime route to Asia, reducing shipping times to China from 35 days to just 23 days. This efficiency is expected to lower logistics costs by over 20%, making it a linchpin for South America's integration into global trade networks. As the first deepwater port of its kind in Peru, Chiang Kai provides a competitive alternative to other South American ports, such as those in Chile and Ecuador. Its natural draft of 17.8 meters allows it to accommodate the world's largest container ships, further cementing its role as a key player in international logistics. The economic implications of the Chiang Kai megaport are vast. It is projected to generate approximately $4.5 billion in annual revenue for Peru, contributing significantly to the country's GDP. Moreover, the port is expected to create over 8,000 direct jobs and numerous indirect opportunities in industries such as logistics, transportation, and services. For Peru, a country heavily reliant on mineral exports, the port offers an enhanced platform for diversifying its trade portfolio. Agricultural producers, for instance, stand to benefit from improved access to Asian markets, where demand for high-quality, organic products is rising. Additionally, the port's state-of-the-art facilities are designed to support the efficient handling of bulk goods, enabling Peru to capitalize on its natural resource wealth. The ripple effects of the port's development extend to local economies. Small and medium-sized enterprises in the surrounding regions are likely to experience growth due to increased demand for goods and services. The improved infrastructure, including the underground tunnel connecting the port to the Pan American Highway, facilitates smoother transportation and distribution, boosting regional connectivity. But China stands to gain the most from this venture. Crucially, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina also form the lithium triangle together. The element is in great demand for the lithium-ion batteries used to power the growing numbers of electric vehicles worldwide. A report from the International Energy Agency noted that more than one in two new car registrations in China was electric in 2023 compared to over 1 in 5 in Europe and 1 in 10 in the United States. So, the development of Chiang Kai port offers China a gateway to the much-needed minerals and metals abundant in this area. While the Chiang Kai megaport promises significant economic benefits for Peru and China both, it has also sparked debates about its environmental and social impacts local communities have raised concerns about potential disruptions to marine ecosystems, particularly in the fishing industry. Construction activities have reportedly led to reduced fish catches, affecting the livelihoods of fishermen who depend on the region's rich marine biodiversity. Additionally, the port's operations could contribute to pollution, both in the form of emissions from increased maritime traffic and potential oil spills. Environmental advocacy groups have called for stringent measures to mitigate these risks, emphasizing the need for sustainable practices in port management. Socially, the project has highlighted issues of equitable development. While the port is expected to create jobs and stimulate economic growth, there are concerns about whether these benefits will be distributed fairly. Local residents have expressed fears of being marginalized in favor of larger corporations, calling for greater inclusion in decision-making processes and a share in the project's gains. The Chiang Kai megaport is more than an economic venture. It is a strategic geopolitical asset. As part of China's Belt and Road Initiative, the port underscores China's expanding influence in Latin America. Chinese President Xi Jinping has described the port as the starting point for a new land-sea corridor connecting China and Latin America, highlighting its role in fostering bilateral trade and investment. China's involvement in the Chiang Kai megaport reflects its broader strategy to secure critical trade routes and resources. 
By establishing a foothold in Peru, a leading exporter of copper and other minerals, China is positioned to strengthen its supply chains and reduce dependency on intermediaries. The port also enhances China's soft power in the region, demonstrating its commitment to infrastructure development and economic cooperation. Meanwhile, Brazil, the largest economy in the continent, has announced plans to enhance its road connectivity to Chiang When this happens, it would make it easier for the Chinese to extract mineral and metal resources from the region. This has raised concerns among other global powers, particularly the United States. Washington views China's growing presence in Latin America as a challenge to its traditional sphere of influence. For long, the U.S. has remained the major player in the region, delivering aid and loans, but also interfering with the continent's governments. The continent's resources such as oil and precious metals were also an incentive for extending its influence. While the U.S. remains South America's biggest trade partner, China has increasingly made inroads in the continent as its own economy has grown. China is currently Peru's largest trade partner, largest export market, and largest source of imported goods. Therefore, the Chiang Megaport's strategic location and advanced capabilities have prompted discussions about the balance of power in the region and the implications for regional stability. The Chiang Kai Megaport stands as a transformative project with the potential to redefine trade dynamics between South America and Asia. As Peru navigates the complexities of this landmark development, it must balance economic ambitions with sustainability and inclusivity. By addressing the challenges proactively, the Chiang Kai Megaport can serve as a model for integrated, forward-looking infrastructure projects that drive growth while safeguarding environmental and social well-being. Ultimately, the port represents not only a gateway for goods, but also an opportunity for Peru to assert its role on the global stage and shape a prosperous future. What are your thoughts on this mega project? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.